So as I'm learning more about MLflow, I wanted to put together an example to try to combine some of the good practices around software engineering that I've been picking up. So things like we should have modular code, we should have tests, we should have orchestration, we should use version control, CICD. We're not going to do all of that in this example, but what I want to do is say, okay, I've got some model code. I'm going to use MLflow to track my experiments. So as I make changes, as someone else makes changes, we can see, did the model improve or not? We're going to use an orchestrator, in this case, Dagster. I have a pitiful little you know, workflow at this point, but an ML pipeline will have multiple steps. If step three fails, I don't want to have to rerun steps one and two. There are other benefits, but you know, this is kind of the high level story here. And then finally, we're going to use GitHub, or I'm using GitHub as my version control system and GitHub Actions as the CI driver, CI tool, meaning it's not enough to just say, hey, I ran this on my local machine and it worked. We'll have an independent server. Just do a quick smoke test. Grab all the new code, grab the existing code, build it and see if it works. So let's step through this. I'm going to jump over to VS Code. This isn't a great practice, but I'm just going to edit this little file manually. Let's make this 1.0. We're going to save our save this code. So this is my model code. And now I will come over to uh, to, excuse me, to Dagster, and let's go ahead and run this thing. So I'll click Materialize. This is going to launch a run. This will run very quickly. Again, I should have multiple steps in this pipeline. This isn't realistic, uh, but this completes, and then we can come over to MLflow, and it'll tell us, hey, you ran another experiment. Click Refresh. Here's the run. I'm going to call this a slight improvement. Excellent. So I've gone from, we had some source code. We kicked everything off with our orchestration tool. Then we looked into our experiment tracker. All right, I'm calling it models improved. Great, now let's actually commit these changes back to our version control system and run a CI process, run something that says, let's make sure we build all this and it actually works. I know you clicked it and it worked, Gus, but I don't trust you. We're gonna, we're gonna verify. So what I'll do now is I'm going to add these changes. I'm going to give it a terrible commit message, better model. And I'm going to push these to my feature branch, which is GRC better model. And we'll go over to GitHub now and we'll open a pull request. So it's prompting me, okay, great. Let's open our PR. I'm gonna click the create PR button. This should go to somebody else who'd say, I'm gonna review your PR, don't merge your own PRs. In my case, two things are gonna happen here. One is we'll have the ability to add some comments or actually merge the PR, which I shouldn't be able to do. But more importantly, we're gonna have this CI process kick off. So what's running behind the scenes is now this GitHub action, could have used Jenkins or some other tool, but we're having a process. We defined a file and GitHub was nice enough to run this for us. That's gonna check out our code, use Python 3.9, install our Dagster dependencies. And then I think, I think this is pretty nice. We're just run, we're running our scikit-learn model via MLflow via Dagster, which feels a little confusing. But in this scenario with the CI tool is really nice because I'm just saying, hey, Dagster, run this flow. And as my workflow gets more complicated, my CI tool doesn't need to know about that. It's just gonna execute, Dagster will handle that piece. And similarly, Dagster just knows to execute a couple of files. It doesn't have to care about the experiment tracking. MLflow will do that and on and on. So the, the layers here, are, in my mind, in my very basic examples, I'm just getting started. They're all starting to make sense. So this build should succeed. And when this comes back, hopefully with a, with a green check mark, we can then actually merge the PR, delete the branch. But what I'm, what I'm starting to coalesce around is this idea of like an actual software engineering workflow where we're saying, hey, it's not enough to just run your notebook, look at a rock curve and say, this model is better. Let me update some source code. What we should do is, is build into our process of every time we're checking in code, we should be running some of these checks and we should be verifying. Let's jump in and you know, right now, the way I've set this up, this isn't the best, but we can look at some of our metrics. We can see all of these directly in the logs, which, you know, again, we don't love, isn't amazing. Um, but we can verify, okay, great, it succeeded. We have our metrics, we're storing stuff in MLflow. Now we can go back to our PR and we'll grab our better, better model PR, we'll merge this and, and away we go. So in summary, you know, the goal here is like figure out experiment tracking, learn more about MLflow, and in combining it with common tools, something to orchestrate our code or orchestrate our pipeline, a tool to track our source code version control, a, tr a tool to help us build or do some continuous integration. Every time we make a change, we want to test everything like GitHub Actions. It's all starting to kind of make sense how this, this molds into a software project. Hope you found this useful. As always, more to come from me.